Every year is turning into the worst year on record, and this year is no different. Fires are getting bigger, the fire season is lasting longer and becoming more costly. California typically hosts several headlining fires every year, but California fights thousands of fires each year that we never hear about thanks to the efforts of initial attack aircraft and crews. It's a tough job when your area of responsibility spans more than 30 million acres of remote, mountainous, and sometimes inaccessible terrain. To answer that challenge, the California Department of Forestry and Fire Protection, also known as Cal Fire, staffs and maintains the world's largest firefighting air force to hit fires as quickly and aggressively as possible to contain those fires until additional resources can arrive. Being successful takes continuous training and coordination, and like world-class athletes, we rarely see the effort it takes to reach that level of success. We're at the CAL FIRE maintenance facility in Sacramento, California, and it's a very busy week. Every CAL FIRE pilot, whether they fly an OV-10, S-2 tanker, or a hell attack, is here running through the emergency procedures and tactics that will help keep themselves, their crews, and the people they are sworn to protect safe in the run-up to this fire season. Helicopter program manager Barry Lloyd explains what's in store for the hell attack pilots. My day-to-day -day responsibilities entail making sure the pilots stay proficient, compliant with the state's procedures, and I'm required to give them standardization check ride periodically to make sure they retain their proficiency and skill set. We do carding check rides. It's like an FA check ride, but it's specifically oriented toward Forest Service pilot procedures and maneuvers. Once a year, we bring in Bell Helicopter because they are the experts in emergency procedures training, and we do touchdown auto rotations. We can do touchdown auto rotations in house, however, when you don't do them full time, you run the risk of damaging an aircraft. They're the expert literally fly the aircraft to the extreme of emergency procedures and that's what Bell's job is to train us in emergency procedures so everybody here is competent should they experience some type of emergency they can cope with it based upon the training they've had. We do straight in and 180 degree touchdown auto rotations. We also do flight with the governor off, in other words with manual throttle which in a turbine engine could be a handful. We also fly with hydraulic off to a hover landing. Most helicopter pilots are taught to do it to a running landing, but in the nature of our operations, sometimes we don't have a luxury of a place that's long enough to make a running landing, so we have to be able to have the skill set to bring the aircraft to hover and set it down without hydraulics. We have two types of training that also goes on while Bell is here. We have some pre-Bell recurrency training. All pilots are required to have recurrency, and we do that to get them up to speed for Bell. When Bell get here, they only have to worry about the end of the maneuver. The rest of the extreme training has already been done. Also, we card our pilots. They have to take an annual check ride and be carded, which is like issuing a pilot certificate, but it's for forestry-specific type missions. Bucket work, mountain landings, pinnacles, confined areas, slope landings, hover step, simulated hoist rescue with a hydraulic failure. We cover all those operations, so if any of those things happen during the year, the pilot has demonstrated his proficiency in doing those. But the training doesn't stop there. Pilots and their crews continually rehearse the scenarios they are likely to face, from the simple to the complex, from exiting a helicopter and grabbing gear to exiting the helicopter to rescue someone desperate for help. This ensures everyone understands the game plan and everyone knows what everyone else is doing. This is especially important when working in hostile environments that test both your training and personal commitment. Whether it's battling fires or performing rescues, CAL FIRE Hell Attack crews are ready and able to go wherever they are called to meet any challenge head on.